today we are going to see about the obey policy architecture okay so in the last session i have discussed about the different detail tools and the reporting tools so reporting tools in market we have uh, obi sap bo and cognos and msbi so many multiple tools are there okay so in we are dealing with the obi so obi is like uh, we can go to any any of the any of the reporting tool there is no issue but uh, in the, in the competitive market in this today's market obi and sap bo are the very competitive products okay so we have multiple opportunities for obi basically okay and the current screen you are seeing is the obi entire obi architecture okay so once when you so before going into the obi like uh, before going before seeing the obi screens like the uh, admin admin console or rpd kind of thing or or any other thing so uh, before going to see this like so we will discuss about the architecture then we will see what is rpd and what are the different uh, uh, utilities we are going to get from the obi once it is installed okay so here if you see here uh admin once this is the architecture of obi server obi policy so once we have installed we are going to have the ba system components nothing but ba server scheduler java host and the sbs presentation service and cluster control okay so these are uh, these six components are used for the internal purpose like ba internal oba ba server like uh, like once we install in the main server obi will have its internal ba server nothing but it, every application will have the weblogic server and the ba server here also we have a weblogic server and on top of it ba server is there okay and similarly ba scheduler okay ba scheduler is there right so ba scheduler is used to schedule certain uh, jobs like of course if people are aware of the etl jobs or any other kind of thing ba scheduler is used to schedule certain jobs in the oba like uh, sending a report to a end user on particular time so by using this component we are going to send the report to the end user or anything like we can schedule things okay and coming to the ba java host java host is nothing but in the oba we will have like multiple graphs okay so to generate all the graphs and all the graphical analysis so some certain java host should be there so this java host plays a major role in generating those graphical representation analysis okay and coming to sbs see uh, even we have one more re uh, reporting tool is nothing but uh, Hi hyperion okay so hyperion is related to with the sbase okay so sbase is integrated with the oba so it supports the sbase database okay so you can import the cubes from the sbase and you can generate the reports from the sbase so to support those things sbase component is there okay and ba presentation server ba presentation server is it entirely supports the entire oba like front end it supports the analytics space okay i will show that analytics space and i will show like i will show the links like how it looks what is ba presentation and how where we schedule these things i will show in the coming sessions okay so cluster control okay cluster control is like uh, in single ba instance we can have multiple oba instances like in single server I, we can have multiple oba instance multiple things we can get that is nothing but cluster the upper cluster is nothing but a combination of uh, in technically we can speak it as combination of uh, networks like uh, computers we can make it as a single group of cluster right similarly we can have a multiple ob instance in a single server and we can maintain that that is nothing but cluster controller okay so here if you see metadata metadata is nothing but we will have the rpd okay RP, rpd is nothing but repository where we design the entire metadata kind of that giving the joint conditions everything so this metadata here it will be taking care of this place here it will be okay and security wst and identity store here we are going to give the security concept like we can uh, uh, give security in terms of uh, what the thing is uh, you you can use the obi internally obi also is giving we can create the end users like users from the oba itself or you can uh, configure the ldap okay ldap 
you can configure and you can get the user from the LDAP or you can uh, uh, what to say configure using the external table you can create certain users and passwords uh, passwords in external table and that external table can be configured in the uh, OBI so this this will be taken care here Oracle platform and security services will be taken care here okay and here node manager is there node manager admin server once these are all the different components of the OBI so these will be like the node so once we install earlier in 11g and the other components we need to start the individual setup like node manager we need to start individually similarly admin server you need to start individually and manager server you need to start individually okay whereas in 12c no need to start these components individually once you click on start services automatically all the services will be starting okay so this is the thing. So the earlier these are all the node managers. Like the set, every component plays a major role. Like admin server is this entire this admin server is uh, supports the entire all the components. So before uh, BA server BA scheduler admin sh server should be up and running. Then only all these other components will be uh, what's it working. It will comes into the working. Then only you can access all the other links. Okay. So that is the thing. Here. We, here in the down if you see database RCU schemas are there right so here once you install the OBIG so we are going to uh, when, when we are installing we it will ask certain repositories like we need to create certain schemas okay so why the schemas are required so the, in that schema that audit uh, information will be stored like for every not only this OBI any other ETL tool or any other reporting tool whenever you install it will ask certain schema to store the audit information like say today I am accessing OBI okay at a certain timing like today I have logged in so or some other user is logging into the OBI okay so you need to understand uh, like uh, the at what time that particular user has logged in and what are the statistics that statistical information will be stored in that schema okay that is nothing but database RCU schemas okay that is RCU means repository creation utility schema. So these two schemas are that uh, they were something like BA platform and MDS schemas will be created in the back end. Okay. So now we are going to see the once we install, we are going to see the links. How, what are the links we are going to get in the 12C? Okay. Give me a minute. This is nothing but see, if you see here, once we install the OBI, we are going to get all these links. This is nothing but BA publisher link. Okay, XML P server is the BA publisher link. Okay, this is nothing but EM enterprise. See, if you see here, the uh, port numbers are different here. 9502 here, the port number is 9500. Okay, it, this EM is there, right? This is nothing but enterprise management. Okay, here we are going to in this. I will show the links. Okay, I just we I will show how I will log in and I will show it. Okay. And here, this is nothing but console. Okay, this is here. This is nothing but admin console. People call it as admin console. So here, we are going to configure all the things like uh, LDAP configuration, creating the users, uh, all the kind of stuff here. We are going to do this in this admin console. Okay, and this is nothing but our analytics space. Here, we are going to create our our own dashboards and the reports and the uh, uh, scheduling kind of things, everything. Okay, this here. If you see here. Visualer Analyzer, VA, VA means Visualer Analyzer. So here, uh, here we are going to see, this is a new component in 12C basically, okay. Visualer Analyzer is similar to like a Tableau and the other reporting, other reporting tools. Like instantaneously you can generate the reports. Uh, if you say like for example immediately I want second report, okay. You can generate, you can create those, those kind of reports in the Visual Analyzer, okay. I will be logging into the our regular analytics space, so you can see this is the analytics. Certain uh, sample dashboards are given are there already existing, so this is the way you can uh, we can create the dashboards in the OBI. These are the different different uh, charts and the uh, views. Okay. Uh, sample visuals given by the Oracle. Of course, we can also create the same thing. So you can see these are the multiple in the dashboard. These are the multiple pages here. See, these are all the different. Uh, I told you right. These are the different graphical analysis. Okay. So this is the pivot table, and uh, if you come down, uh, this is like tr this is the uh, trill view kind of thing. Okay. Waterfall graph. If you see here, waterfall is the right. 
see this is the waterfall graph okay and these are all the prompts these are all the dashboard prompts if you see in the left side these are all the dashboard prompts so this is the way we can create in the dashboard and we can customize all those things however we want this is a sample however we want we can create the uh, what to say uh, reports or the dashboards okay if you see here be a publisher if you go here be a publisher like it's a part of the OBIE. Like once we install the OBIE, we are going to get this uh, uh, BA publisher. Here also you can create the reports. You need to create the data model first, and then you need to create the uh, reports kind of stuff in the BA publisher. Okay, this is this is one component given by uh, OBIE. I told you right. One more thing is visual analyzer. So visual analyzer is instant instant generation of the reports. Okay. So here, if the here we we have we can create these projects and dashboards analysis, and instantaneously you can access, you can create the reports like uh, like uh, I can say static data. So immediately today uh, uh, that the end user or manager is asking me to create a report. So immediately I can create a report from the, the static data, and I can show that data immediately for tomorrow's demo purpose or kind of thing. Okay. So here visual analyzer is nothing but to create those kind of reports, and. Uh, here weblogic i told you that this is the admin console okay so in this you can create i told you that in this admin console you need to create all the kind of like roles and responsibilities creating the users and creating the or uh, this ldap configuration external table authentication all kind of stuff we, need, we are going to give in the uh, admin console so these five components are ones like uh, uh, sorry one more component is that this is nothing but em enterprise management em Okay. So whatever the users you are going to create in the admin console, that users and the roles configuration, that defining the roles, this will be taken care in the e enterprise management. Okay. And little bit the 12C, it's a completely little uh, different compared to 11G. Okay. So uh, the look and feel got changed. Everything is same, that but look and feel got changed. And the deployment process also got changed in the 12C. Whereas in 11G it's a different and 12C it's a different. Okay. So these are all the different uh, components once we install the OBIE. These are the five links we are going to get in the OBIE. Okay. And uh, for today's session, uh, this is the thing. And in the coming sessions, we are going to see uh, how, like, um, we are going to see how the, the importing the RPD kind of thing, designing the RPD, and um, and after that, how to upload the RPD in the server, and uh, creating the reports in the dashboard, scheduling the reports, all kind of uh, stuff we are going to see in the coming sessions. Yeah, thank you.